All right. Greetings and salutations. We back with Divine Masculines. Current Energies, okay? If you ain't checked out Divine Feminine's demo, please check that out. Hell of a message. We got a hell of a message here. Um, same thing I did for the feminine reading. I'm going to do for the masculine reading. I'm just doing direct energies and doing a lot of elaborating on them. Only clarifying if I really have to. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes rent while I get the cigarette lit. And, and, and we will begin. So. Oh. Doing specials for another two days. Be looking out for them. Um, first come, first serve. Uh... Christine, uh, I got you. Um, tomorrow before 2 p.m. Had to get something out for YouTube today. Feeling in a nice mood. Of course, I got to work later. So, you know. Still, I have something to listen to while I'm at the gig and watch. Well, I can't watch, but I listen to myself all the time. Driving, all that there. Um, oh, snaps. Give me one second share these on the platforms real fast uh head shoulders knees and toes head that's swords thoughts decisions mentality ideology you know what i mean everything starts in the mind then you got cups which is shoulders Our feelings and emotions all feelings and emotions are are just indicators on where you're going mentally the heart mind must be aligned with everything that you do what's indication that's up here um who was the heart mind department? Swords and cups department, the divine feminine, you can tell. Um, almost done. Wands are actions and behavior. Things you're doing, things you've done. Not what you finna do because you ain't did it yet. Um, what you've done has accountability and karma attached to it. What you're doing has karma and accountability attached to it. What you finna do does not. Wands also represent the current, which is the ink. You listening? I'm speaking. We're breathing. I'm smoking. You know what I mean? You living, you learn, and you earn it. Every day. That's why God calls it the present, because it is a gift. You know? That's why God calls it the present, because it's, it's a gift at the end of the day. So, uh, who's the king of wands, the divine masculine? That's his or her arena. He could be a she, she could be he, you know how we rocking. I'm a divine feminine. You know. He could be a she, she could be he, you know how we rocking. In this situation here. Pedicles. I do Twitter. What I Twitter? Yeah, I do Instagram. Uh, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on uh, Instagram. And uh, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already. Pedicles are persons, places, and things. It's defeat. Head, swords, shoulders, cups, knees, bonds, toes, pinnacles. Or defeat. Defeat. A pinnacle is a person, place, or a thing. That's something you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. All pinnacles expire. All pinnacles have expiration dates. And all pinnacles are temporary. It's not just a pentacle. It's pinnacles. P-I-N-N-A-C-L-E. That's your, your time, your era, your status. Your place in life, the plateau you at right now. As a divine, we ascend. That's why I lame this LLE ascension, living, learning, earning. Ascending at the end of the day. It's about going up. When you go up, it's hella levels up because up is infinite. There's no ceiling up there. There's, there's no ceiling up there. So you always at new plateaus. You always at new places in life, you know? So, um, who rules the wands and pinnacles department? You divine masculine, you know, you're all about action and you're all about manifestation. You act, you're just doing shit and you manifest shit. And from these manifestations, whether that's you manifest children, you manifest a motherfucking relationship, you manifest some money, you manifest a business, like you all about manifestations. That's what the masculine, man, masculine is really all about. Then off these manifestations, your masculine gets in his head. On what direction or decision he should make about this manifestation. And then gets to his heart and feelings about it. It's backwards, you know. Feminine goes, I mean, masculine goes up. It's like wands, pentacles, up to sword, 
cuffs. Heart and mind. Feminine, it's a process. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You have a clear, deliberate thought on what direction or decision you want to make. And you feel something for it before you actually do whatever it is you're trying to, whatever direction you're trying to go. Or execute whatever decisions you just made. You, you, you get in your hard mind a lot. I'm going to mind feminine in the hard mind a lot. You make sure it's the right decision. This is the right decision. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to fucking hurt myself. I don't want to bite myself in the ass with this one. I want to make sure this, this is what I need to do. And then you start doing shit to manifest whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So feminine goes down. Like the rain that comes down. You know what I'm saying? When, 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 when you're making it rain. You know what I mean? You know what rain I'm talking about. <laughs> Clear it out. Masculines, it go up when they rain. Masculines go up. Okay, feminines come down. That's just the way shit works. It ain't just literal terms I'm talking about with ejaculation and shit. It, it was in, but it's like it's just in life in general. So I'm gonna throw that out there. Uh, let's begin. Let's get straight with this message. This is you, the white masculine. First card of your message. Overall energy. It's just fairly important. We got the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles in my deck is a master manifester, an alchemist, even. You know? It's a big face. I told you. Knights, queens, kings, and things are divine realms. Aces to tens is the karmic realms. How do people move on this planet? Round and around like a fucking gerbil on a hamster wheel. You know what I'm saying? How do the wise move in an infinity? We're in the third dimension doing the same shit everybody else is doing, but we're in the fourth, fifth dimension and up, handling God's business, kingdom business, on our path, on our purpose, doing exactly what it was God put us on here on earth to do. And we're doing that shit on earth, but also give a reverence to God. We help ourselves, but we also help other people. Once again, we're about our business and our kingdom on earth, but we also about God's business in the kingdom of heaven. And guess what? God's work is never fucking done. So when we leave here, that's what we leave. We're going somewhere else to do some work because God's work is never done. It's an infinite universe. I'm telling you, there's seven trillion inhabited planets out here. We were somewhere before we came here. We got a job to do. That's why we even here. We got a job to do. It's, it's you know, this is Earth. You know, planet Kai. It's, it's a little deeper than that. But we're just going to, we just, we, you know, we, we're just going to skim it off the top here. Okay? We were all put here for a reason. You know, divine feminine, it's her job to find out what that is and be on that and then help you get on that if you have no clue on what that is. It's to give out unconditional love to everyone, not equally. And unconditional love is just something that everybody gets by default. It ain't because you're trying to make sure this person gets the same amount of unconditional love. This person, unconditional love is unconditional love. You know what I'm saying? It's like free water, free drinks, open bar. Unconditional love is like fucking free weed, nigga. It's like, it's some, it's like, I don't mean to sound stupid and shit, ignorant and shit, but it's like conversation I was having, fucking like my twin and his uh, cousin and shit. We was out of town, we was on some world trip shit. And, you know, my mom said, busts my balls. I don't show him none of my women friends and shit. Now, I'll show him some clients. I'll show him, like, you know, some chicks that, you know, know of him and they know he my twin, like, they like me, like, like girls like me, you know what I'm saying, but they like him too, on a level you don't really understand, and it's like, so if I am introducing him to somebody, it's other, other chicks, other, oh, other OPP, I'm selfish with mine, I don't even want nobody near my chicks, because I don't want them to, you know, be all up in my motherfucking stable, you know what I'm saying, like I say, it's just something about the masculine, I'm a feminine energy, about these masses, man. They like sharing, man. They like other people. They like OPP. That's their thing. Almost like they're trying to see what's up with you or some shit. Like, I don't know. So, I mean, kind of like my lady friend. I only got one way I deal with people, and that's direct and full effect. I'll let you know what it is, what it ain't, what the fuck it's going to be. You can grow with it or you can step. This is where the fuck I'm at. I'm a, I'm a modern day monk. I'm not a regular nigga. I'm a super nigga. You know what I mean? I just move different. I don't move like the average person, right? Bastin swimming down on Michael Jackson. Yeah. He's never seen none of the chicks you with. Like, yeah, you've seen some chicks. And you, you know, you know other things just like I know. Like, I don't see too much coming from you, Playboy. But it ain't like I'm even interested in that side of your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a grown-ass man at the end of the day. You feel me? It's just like, man, 
And even on this rant on how it's hard for niggas to get pussy out here, like, I think it's just a decline on interest in coochie. Uh, I think niggas is bitches and bitches is niggas now. I don't know if it's in the water, something like that, but I see it. It is a decline, and niggas really trying to smash females out here or even chasing them. I see a lot of women at prom in these high schools, you know what I'm saying, asking niggas to go to the prom with them. Like, it's almost like roles switched. I know a lot of independent alpha women out here who really got a beta bitch man that's just Mr. Mom out here, you feel me? Like, life should have changed. Should have switched. I'm saying all that shit to say this. <laughs> I'm saying all that shit to say this. I told my master, like, bro, pussy falls like leaves in autumn, nigga. It's everywhere. And it's plenty. You know what I mean? So if you ain't getting none, you don't want none. Or, like, it's just a complex to the leaf that we talking about. You dig know what I'm saying? Like, this whole logic on shit be weird as hell. It's just like, bro, <laughs> a lot of shit is free out here. Like, you don't have to over, you don't have to go hard to really get most shit. You want to impress people? You want to get people to like you? You want to get a ticket like you? You want to get a job to fuck with you? Like, just know the cheat codes. Goes back to the manifestation alchemist part of it. Manifestation, masculine. You can manifest anything you put your motherfucking heart to. You the master manifester. That's all you do. One thing your divine feminine is going to do is give you your praise and beef you up. It's like you a garbage ass boxer and you in your first match and you nervous as shit. But it's like your lady pumping you the fuck up. She rubbing your shoulders and shit. Baby, you got this, man. Ain't nobody fucking with you. Like, hey, listen, you know what I'm saying? You the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got this. Ain't, you know what I'm saying? I seen how you train. I seen how you getting down. I know you. Hey, believe in yourself. If you had that, I tell my twin that shit all the time. Like, if you looked at yourself the way I look at you, if you believe in yourself as much as I believe in you, like, if you fuck with yourself the way I fucks with your nigga, like, you'd be a, you'd be a whole new creature. You'd be a whole different individual. He already is a... Uh, a whole new creature has evolved. That's what your twin flame shit situation is supposed to do. It's your job to my feminine. You evolve yourself and your masculine. Who my masculine was when I first met him and who I was when I first met my masculine, we are two different fucking people. I'm telling you, look different, different glow, smarter, wiser, faster, stronger, more emotionally mature, in tune with the infinite. Like, we both superheroes. I'm more like Gambit. He's more like Wolverine, but that's what this twin flame shit does. You know, lots of things manifest from this. But going back to the alchemist masculine, it's just something in particular you need to just go out and do. You need to just go out and manifest. It's against your character being too in your heart and mind about something that you want to manifest. That's a feminine trait. I told you, feminine is being a heart and mind. I'm the wife in myself. I stay in my heart and mind. You know what I mean? Because I just want to make sure I'm making the best decision. I just, you know, I'm just, I don't just be out here just doing shit. Everything has to have a purpose or intent. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's to me how you're supposed to motherfucking move. Right? But I told you, masters is logic. And I told you how they move. They just do shit and then something manifests. And then they go in their heart and mind about what it is. But whatever this is, masculine, you so hesitant with it that you in the feminine energy, which is probably good. Because you're really going in your head about what direction you need to make or what decision you need to make. And you really try to feel the right feeling from it to really manifest this through Wands, actions, and behavior, which you're the king of. Overall energy, masculine. Man, if I can pick some clarity on this. Knight of Pentacles, another big face. So, and this really marks importance right here. Masculine, you're the master manifester, but you walk around here like you a novice. You the motherfucking Jedi, but you acting like a Padawan. You know, knights all about juvenile energies. You know, I, I swear to my master this shit all the time. I'm like, bro, the people you go to advice for, you got more insight than they do. The people you going to make money with, you can make money by yourself. Like, you don't need to go to these third parties and break them off on what the fuck you want. Like, nah, man, you know, I ain't, I ain't this, I don't have that, I'm not as whatever as you. And, you know, he hits me with all this. Jabber jaw, I he ain't enough, I he ain't smart, I he ain't whole, I he ain't complete, I he need or wish he had or it ain't time or it's just a lot of jabber. I be like, nigga, fuck all that, bro. You that nigga, bro. Like, you ain't no regular nigga, you a super nigga. Go out here and do super shit. You in a position to do it. Do you know who you are? 
man, you just talking, man. You just uh, I'm like, all right, man. You you learn. You, what the fuck I'm saying? Somebody else is gonna say it, and you gonna get a reaction from it. Fuck it. But hey, for me, at least it's in your head. So at least when they say it, you know I said it, and you can at least feel some type of way. But you know, man, that's just acting very juvenile on something that they're trying to manifest. But I think whatever this big ass manifestation is, is probably the most important thing they're gonna have to manifest in their life. Or the most important thing in their life, or will be the most important thing in their life. It's the energy of a person that is thinking about marrying someone, settling down with someone. Whether that's you, feminine, or your masculine karmic, or some shit like that. You know, um, it's the energy of a person who, you know, it's like buying a house in your late 60s. <laughs> it's like, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like, might as well go out and style. You feel what I'm saying? It's like choosing to go forward and manifest your heart's desire. Number one, because you can't. Number two, because you're in a position to do so. But number three, because this is what you want. I told you, people get buyer's remorse. People get success remorse. Some people feel bad that they can do good out here. Some type of stumbling block here. And I gotta pick another card because three very cards is a one. And this is just overall. It's something you need to manifest, but you kind of feel like you ain't on the level to manifest this. You think this is king, you need a king key to open a door or unlock some shit. And you think you a knight when really you a king. Like you have the key. You are the key. You know what I mean? More smoke. We got another red card. Queen of Cups. Which is the psychic card, um, my X Men card, so to speak. Like I say, I'm kind of like Gambit, you know, cards and shit. Uh, very slick, very smart. Uh, kind of a nomad, you know what I'm saying? I keep that pole on me, you know what I'm saying? Like Gambit do, and it's just like I just have very, very, very superb psychic ability. I'm nice without cards, you know, but with them, I'm dead with you. Feel me? <clears throat> Maslin, his powers deal with like healing, cell regeneration, brain regeneration. This motherfucker, he's an alien, bro. <laughs> hey, he's different. He's different. You know, we all have some type of ability, we all have some type of power. Divines are talking about. But this is a warning. It's something you need to just nut up and manifest. But you feel like you're ill equipped for it. Like you don't have the key, like you don't have it to manifest this. And aside from, like, you, you ain't manifesting something, but you really are manifesting something. What you're manifesting is the non-manifestation of what you're trying to manifest because you feel you ain't ready when you are. You feel this ain't the time what it is. You feel like you don't got it when you do. And Queen of Cups represents, aside from the psychic part of it, um, this is visions, dreams, signs, synchronicities, the writing on the wall. Clear, seeing things clearly, almost like a psychic. Seeing the future, almost like a psychic. <laughs> it's like you know what the future holds. You know what's going to happen when you manifest whatever this is. And it's almost like in between of you manifesting your, your dream or your heart's desire, heart's desire, big face, big face, big face, big face, whatever the fuck this shit is, it's huge. And, you know, to me, it's I'm just, like I said, personal masculine, this is you marrying your karmic. Uh, for some masculine, this is you marrying your divine, or at least figuring out what the fuck this is and how we can get this shit done. Like, what are we? And how are we going to make this work? You know, or aside from relationships, this is like I say, masculine getting that home. You know, getting that car that's or that truck that's necessity for your business or some shit like that. Um, starting that program, starting that LLC or business or whatever the fuck. Like it's something big. It's saying little shit. This is good shit. You know. And that's just fairly important overall energy. Bottom line, more important than anything. Like, the most important part of the message here is the Nine of Wands right here, which is the Wounded Warrior. But this is also the Toll. This is the Wounded Warrior, like the Wounded Warrior in the Tarot card and the deck and shit like that. And this is um, a Toll. 
physical toll, financial toll, mental toll, emotional toll. I don't want to pick no clarifier, but I'm going to just say this. Blah, 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 energy, you've reached your breaking point. Like you've been alone so long, you know what? Let me do the opposite of this alone shit. <laughs> you know, thinking I can do this shit by myself, maybe I need help. It's like you see, got a partner. Whether that's a life partner or just a confidant. Like, you know what? I've been talking about buying a house for a minute, thinking I ain't got enough to get it. Let me just try and get this motherfucker right now. You know? You know what? I've been kicking around this idea for years. Let me just kick this shit off. You know what? My divine feminine been telling me something. It's a pinnacle. <laughs> telling me something to do something for a minute. You know what I mean? Let me just, let me see what this something is. Shit, I told my 20 yesterday. I'm really trying to get him on this channel. He's entertaining it, but like I say, every time I get him here, he flakes the fuck out. Like, always the day before we supposed to shoot or do some shit, or, you know? Get busy out here, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, man, look. <laughs> it's like, bro. I don't know what the problem is, you know what I mean? I don't know what the pump faking is about and shit like that, but, you know, it's just like, I will keep saying the same thing. It's been, this is year seven. I've been trying to get my tone on my channel since year one. This is the seventh year. You know what I mean? I got into union year two of LLE Ascension. It took a year of some change. Like, literally a couple days to get in the union. Like, once I started LLE Ascension, which is 2018, I believe. I met my twin in 2012. So, it's been a journey. It's a progressive journey. And it's a lot of milestones and checkpoints and shit like that. And um, there is a toll to this shit. Like I say, it's an emotional talk on you, ain't it feminine? This shit is hard. This shit is a lot. This shit is rough for you, ain't it feminine? Yeah, okay, well, imagine how it is for the divine master. Told you, feminines, y'all got people y'all can talk to. Y'all are hip to this whole lingo and language, and you at least know where the psychics is at. You know where guys are at to help you and shit like that. Like, masculines, they, I'm telling you, they're looking at trying to find, trying to figure this shit out logically. And logic is definitely heavily facilitated with the 3D. Not the fourth or fifth dimension, the divine feminine where you dwell all day. It's la la land to your divine master, but that's a whole nother story. But it's just a toll. So funny shit just took a toll on your master. He's been avoiding it so much that he knows he needs to stand firm and face this shit. He's been hiding so long, he knows he needs to, like I say, stand and be accountable. Master been denying you so long, he's, you know, maybe, he, and I told him that shit. I'm like, yo, you've been, <laughs> it's like, it's just with everything. I'm like, bro. You've been denying a lot of shit since the beginning. Like, it's been me 12 years deep, right? Like, you really think I'm saying the same shit over and over and over again for 12 years? You really think I'm doing this Twin Flame shit, like, to, to get some type of brownie points from you or some shit like that? I'm like, no, bro. Like, I ain't, 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 ain't nothing benefiting me doing what I'm doing here. I'm helping y'all, but I told you, this shit hurts me. In my Twin Flame demo. This is my man. over every time a nigga see a video come up and I'm yapping about this and our shit and that and shit like that. So, you know, it's like, I was like, yo, you acting like I pulled this shit on my ass. Like, I'm not crazy, bro. I'm not delusional, bro. Like, and you should know this. Like, you fuck with it sometimes, but then you don't. Like, you know, I ain't switched up. And I'm like, whether you fuck with this or not, whether you believe in the Super Flames, you know, it don't even fucking matter, bro. Like I said, I ain't finna switch my tune. It is what it is. Like I said, it's going to take somebody else to say some shit for you to get it. But, okay, Lord forbid, maybe that's what the fuck has to happen. You ain't listening to me, but maybe you listen to somebody else. You don't get it when I say it. Maybe you'll get it when somebody else said it. But you're going to get it. And then, lastly, I was like, maybe it's going to take God for you to tell you the same shit I'm telling you, for you to see the same shit I've been trying to get you to see. You know, whatever it is, I've done everything I can do. And that's all I can do. You know, you let go and let go, ah, feminine, I'm telling you, the universe get to working with your master and like you working with him right now. It's some good shit your master's trying to manifest, although he's feeling like shit because it's like it's a toe. Told you. you. Step into a new situation, you got to end the current situation. 
Can't step into a sterilized situation with old shit on your boot. You know what I'm saying? Two things can't occupy the same space. If your master wants to move forward with you, then he has to leave his karmic alone. Or whatever moving forward means. If a master wants to be with his karmic, he's got to leave you the fuck alone. Mainly because that's probably what the karmic wants. He wish he could keep you around as a friend or whatever the fuck, but, I'm, you know, happy wife, happy life. You know? So it's like a bind. Master wants to keep you around, but at the same time, he doesn't want to lose this huge manifestation due to his feelings and emotions about you. Like in a perfect world, he could have you as a friend, be married to his karmic, and have a life that he always dreamed. But on the other hand, it's like <laughs> things can occupy the same space. Everything happens for a reason. So, while I am asking us to reach his limit for change, like it's the price, you know? Can't I'm telling you? <laughs> If you get the, your dream job, that means a lot of people didn't get that job. So you happy, but they hurt. You win first place at the fucking Olympics, you win gold medal at the Olympics, then motherfucker that's in second and third gonna be looking at you side eye and shit, because they wish that was their spot. Like, you should have been third or second or some shit like that. It's a win for you, but it's, it's, it's always a loser. It's always the person that's not in the mix. It's always the person you didn't choose. Or didn't marry, or didn't, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit, that type of toll. Bottom line, it's just a toll. Shit, you really will never really truly understand feminine, but that's what's going on. So, masculine, you directly, this is energy you either coming into or leaving. You got outside conflict. Outside conflict is the five of wands. Now, divine feminine in her reading, she had the seven of wands. Seven of wands is internal conflict. That's more important to deal with than outside conflict. Outside conflict is shit you don't even deal with at all. Outside conflict is shit that doesn't involve you. So why involve yourself in it? It's like walking in a line of a minefield. Like why? It's like it just doesn't involve you. It's two people fighting on the street, right? Let them fight. That situation they fighting about, I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with you. Yo ass want to play Good Samaritan and step in to break the fight up. You get shot. It's an outside situation. You chose to go inside and got got. That could have been a trap. It could have been fake fighting to get your little Good Samaritan ass over there to rob your motherfucking ass. Who knows, man? Domestics. Hey, you see a domestic happening? That shit get way out of hand. You call the cops. Okay. But you do not go over there and, you know, no, he's beating her ass. Shorty, what, he ain't going to hit you? The fuck? You know, it's been situations where I would see the domestic going on. I step in, you know, he beating Shorty like some dude. I just still off him, get him off her, to get him off her. And she run by his side. How you do that? You know, he, I feel like if he don't hit me, he don't love me, I'm, well, fucking excuse me. You know, I stepped the fuck back completely perplexed. Like, well, damn. Yeah, I'm going to stay out these things. There's <laughs> a lot of toxic shit out here. You know what I mean? You don't want to get drenched with it. It's a lot of chaos and calamity. You just don't want to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, outside situations, let them be that. It's family beef going on. Stay the fuck out of it. It's company beef. Co-worker beef, friend beef, whatever. Just stay out of shit. Best thing you can do in chaos is stay to yourself. Like when the world ends. Motherfuckers are going to be right here losing their mind. Me, I'll probably be just sitting somewhere smoking a blunt, just smiling like, all right, we finally here. Ah, yeah, wake up now. Y'all see, huh? Yeah, yeah, we here. Now all the little matrix y'all was in, dead. Yeah, yeah, we in the real world now. You know I'm saying, welcome to Zion. <laughs> Hey, we eating goop out here. We live in the sewers, nigga. Ain't no sunlight in this bitch. The world been like this. But now y'all see what it is. Lights cut off and shit. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, this, oh now y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the world been what it's been. It's just the rules on it. You know, the way shit's set up and operated. It's just like, 
A lot of people are so immersed in outside shit that motherfuckers ain't gonna know what shit like how, what what truly matters until shit happens. Okay, and shit always happens. So, masking. Oh, this is also what your family got to say about your life and how you live it and who you with and you know all that shit. Talk outside talk. It's no relationship. So fuck what a person got to say about your shit. Unless they're trying to help you or really dropping jewels that you need to pick up, but you can learn to listen, understand, or take consideration or discern any anything being said, anything being done, any, anything formed against you, my G. So, you know, you're starting to see exactly what outside conflict actually is. The shit that don't involve you. People got... Look, outside situations, just stay away from them. If it don't involve you, don't fuck with it. If it ain't benefiting you, leave it the fuck alone. If you feel like being on some servitude shit, if you feel like helping motherfuckers, okay, go help a good cause. Don't just help any cause. You know what I mean? Because you, in regards to feminine energy, we got the Ten of Cups. This is happiness, emotional contentment, emotional fulfillment, or, you know, gay. Um, you look up what happy, like, you look up happy in the motherfucking dictionary, you'll see gay. And I'm pretty sure if you look at the dictionary, gay, you'll see happy somewhere in there. 3D terms, I'm just putting a magnifying glass on it. This is the energy you have when it comes to feminine energy. It's three. It's like he could be a she, she could be a he out here, you know what I mean? It's just it's, 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 a, it's a different world. So I gotta stress these things. When it, it's, it's one of the three. If it's your divine feminine masculine, the feminine makes you completely happy. It's like, fuck, I, everything I asked for, everything I was looking for is right here. Now, the shell that it's in, the person that it's in, you know, like what? <laughs> like I said, it ain't just the person you fall in love with. You fall in love with the person and everything that's attached to them, even their baggage and shit. And they got to respect you and love you and fuck with you and all the shit you got going on. You know what I'm saying? It's like your feminine beams you on this energy, which is natural. Because get around the divine feminine, you're going to be naturally happy. Endorphins and dopamine is gonna get released next to your fucking feminine and shit. You're gonna start smiling like a little ass kid. That's just the effect your divine combo has on you. Makes you happy as shit. So imagine what masses are going through with karmics. And they still friends with you and how you act how your masses acts with you and how your karmic acts. How your masses acts with your karmic and how the masses karmic peeps how he acts with them and how he acts with you and all that other shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Happiness on a whole nother level. Your divine feminine brings that. And going back to overall energy, you finally want to manifest. You finally want to do something with this energy. It could be your karmic feminine. It makes you happy and you just, you know, you geeked. But it's taking a toll because, like I said, you're going to have to have that talk with your divine feminine, with your divine counterpart. And you know how that's going to go. Or you think you know how that's going to go. And you kind of like, I don't know hesitant on doing that, but you know what direction you want to go. Back, what I was saying with the divine feminine, you want to be with the divine feminine, she makes you happy and all that shit, but then the toll happens because, like I said, you're going to have to have that talk with your karma. Then we got, you know, the LGBT friendly crowd, or um, same sex twins like myself, and I'm going to get to, that will be four categories, but I'll get to that in just a second. So LGBT category, it's like I'm meeting a lot of my clients. It's like you probably marry, you probably, you know what I'm saying? Feminine's probably like, <clears throat> like, it's like as a, you attracted to the other sex. And I told you, there's female divine masculines and there's male divine feminines, like myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'll just use a client and throw a name and all like that, but I got a client who, like I say, is married with children and shit like that. She's the masculine energy because her husband was definitely a beta boy. <laughs> definitely beta. And that's it's just the dynamic. If it's an alpha woman, then it's it's like a feminine or a beta counterpart. What am I attracted to? What fuck a masculine woman? The energy, nigga. The energy. At any rate, client of mine, you know, she was married with children and shit like that, but you know, she married a twin, twin happened to be the same sex, you know. And it's on that tip, LGBT tip. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole experience. It's it's, it's a whole experience she's going through with her twin. And then like I say, she's she, you know, she's she had to deal with a karmic situation. You know what I'm saying? She had to leave a karmic situation. Because like I say, two things can't op occupy the same space. If you're happy, then go where, where you're happy. But happiness is just a feeling. Happiness isn't a thing. 
I mean, happiness is like a fart, man. Like, you know what I mean? And you, you fart, you're going to smell that shit, but, you know, this shit going to go away. You know, thank God farts go away because you don't want to smell that shit all day. You know what I mean? And be glad that, and you can't be just happy always. You can't maintain happiness. You can't hold on to happiness. You can't keep happiness. You know what I'm saying? It just comes around, and you revel in it. And then it might go away because you might go through a dark day or bad nights and some shit like that. But just know happiness is on its way back. Happiness is going to come. You know? You got to do what makes you happy. You got to keep it real with yourself. You got to keep it real with yourself first. You know what I mean? And from that, you move on applicably. Then you got situations like me and my twin brother. Where it's just super weird. <laughs> We're both guys, you know what I'm saying? We both, you know, he's definitely on straight and narrow. I'm definitely on the narrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was a straight and narrow. I just said narrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm definitely a very different type of individual. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I know how to handle this weird shit. You know? Like I say, there's no other man that I'm kicking it with, hanging it with, cool with. Like, I, I don't fuck with niggas like that. I fuck with the feminine. Of women, like I like just being around women and shit, and just I love women. I'm here to protect them and just you know make sure these fuck ass niggas ain't you know fucking up the population. You know what I'm saying? Making sure these goofy ass motherfuckers ain't dismembering and putting down a woman as she's constantly built up and shit like that. I'm a feminine energy. I told you, like, I'm just a different type of nigga. So it's like in our situation, some shit that happened. I know exactly what it is and how to deal with the emotions of it. I told you, we did. Dreams, like the same shit y'all go through, we go through. Just a little different. But I, as a feminine, can accept it and then can acknowledge it and can move on happily with it. My masculine, it just takes a toll with him sometimes. Sometimes it's just too much. He has to, like, leave me the fuck alone. Sometimes it's too much to where he feels he's not his normal self. He's too engulfed in happiness. He's too happy around me. He's too. Like, lovingly and open and vulnerable emotionally. Like, he's just, you know what I'm saying? He's in a place he doesn't like being. He doesn't like being open. He doesn't like being vulnerable. He doesn't like being, like, unconditionally loved constantly type shit. He feels that makes him weak. He feels that's not manly. He feels like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he feels a lot of shit. Feels a lot of shit. But it's like, he doesn't go to it. He doesn't fuck with it. Like, he Fake, they don't fake fuck with it. He semi fucks with this twin flame shit, but he doesn't fuck with it all the way. Like my twin needs to really commit to this shit. Like Alien Three, when Sigourney Weaver jumped into the motherfucking molten lava, like the Terminator and shit. You know, an alien bust out of her stomach. <laughs> shit, like you know what I'm saying? It's fully committed. You know, imagine needs to just dive into this shit. He's gonna come out a holding creature. This is how the feminine evolved. Twin flames. You're two balls of fucking fiery energy. Divine feminine. How did you evolve? Like, how did I evolve and get these powers and shit? My masculine destroyed me. What I mean by my masculine destroyed me? This motherfucker destroyed me. Like, the way he deals with me, the shit we've been through, and, like, the whole lessons I've learned from this guy and how he teaches these lessons subconsciously. I'm asking, like, I, I thought I knew who I was, so I met my twin. And he, he kind of showed me exactly who I am. He is me. My divine counterpart. I don't deal with people the way I deal with him. I will never put up with the shit that my masculine, like, shit masculine be on me. I never put up with that from another soul. They couldn't. Couldn't nobody else be on the shit that my masculine be on. Luckily, it's him. Luckily, I'm humble enough to know, like I say, that this shit is just for evolution. But flame shit is built for you to be the best person that you can be. And that's who I am. I didn't get these powers before I met my twin. I didn't have this insight and this wisdom and this psychic abilities and all this shit before, like, before I met my twin. Fuck no. I was a whole different creature. It was post-recognition. From the moment I met my twin flame to now. It's just me going down a rabbit hole. <laughs> me dying a few times, you know what I'm saying? And coming back strong. The hurt, the pain, the anguish, the fucking... Only motherfuckers who really twins, who really in this shit, can feel me when I say this shit, man. This shit has been the most difficult task God has ever placed upon a nigga. But I'm handling it in the best way I can, and it's definitely helping. So I can only imagine how my masculine feels about this shit. 
So it's just a toll. This shit takes a toll on your muscle. And aside from the toll of actually going through this shit, feminine, you have the five of wands, you know, which is what the fuck your masculine's family or your masculine's friends. Because your masculine talks about you just as much as you talk about them. And just like your friends got opinions on, like, I don't know, your mind state and your feelings when it comes to talking about this person so much and all the time and looking at them the way you look at them and all that shit, like, it's the same with your asking. Of course people got a lot to say about you and this and what y'all got going on. They have no idea of what he's going through and what he got going on. You can talk to a psychic, talk to a twin flame guru or, or, or divine guy like myself. And get answers and shit. You know what I'm saying? All your masters are going to get is criticism. Oh, she's crazy. She's delusional. Yeah, she just pulled that right out of her ass. Don't fall into that trap she trying to put you in. Like, for real? Divine? Like, for y'all knew each other in another world before? Like, what the fuck? Divine chords? What? Like, what the fuck is this shit? What is what is, what is, what is, what is, what is she talking about? And when I say she, she's like, yo, DM. Like, your master catch hella criticism. To where, like I say, it makes fucking with you difficult. They want to fuck with you, but it's like, man, are you crazy? Like, is this delusion? Like, it feels so right. But I told you, your, my, your masculine thinks logically. Your masculine's just trying to make sense of shit. He's not mad. He doesn't feel some type of way. Half this shit ain't personal. Your masculine is very confused. And just really trying to understand what he's feeling. And not just what he feels when he's around you, feminine. Or his karmic feminine. <laughs> it's the success, the wins, the victories, the celebrations that come with loving you or being happy with you and with this. You know what I'm saying? So, massive. When it comes to yourself, you got wins, victories, and celebrations. Whatever move you choose, you won't lose. Say that shit one more time. Whatever move you choose, you won't lose. You would never lose choosing to be with your divine counterpart. Choosing to support your divine counterpart and what the fuck he or she got going on. You can never lose. It's always going to benefit you. You ain't fucking with your twin shit. Okay, as far as this karmic situation, this karmic you dealing with, not all of them. I'll be talking about the ones. You know who I'm talking about, divine masculine. The, that one. You know? And I'm biased. I want twins to be together and shit like that. But I mean, I will say this for you, brother. You know, you you, you fucking with the right one. Just know the right one. The right karmic I'm talking about. It's probably some, you know, it's the right one. I told you, just good karmics out here. It's karmics that really fuck with you and really kind of meant for you to fuck with, for you to unlock the divine in them. Or for them to unlock the divine in you. A job your feminine. Been trying to do this whole time. But like I say, for some, it just takes outside, outside influences and other shit for your mass and they get it. So, uh, whatever decision you choose, you ain't going to lose. And that's something you starting to grasp. And be thankful you got options. You know, but keep this in mind. Whatever option you choose, whatever decision or direction you choose to go with this so-called feminine, right? Make sure this feminine evolves you, or this feminine can evolve you to a whole new creature. Your divine feminine has done this already. You're an evolved version of yourself. That's why your involved ass is getting so much attention. And, you know what I mean? Like, ever since your divine counterpart has entered your life, divine masculine, you have been better on every level. You look better, you doing better, you're more healthier, you've got a better glow. You're more open, you know. It's like, you know, that's feminine's worst fear. To warm your ass up, you know what I'm saying? To preheat your ass for somebody to put their, their, their other dish in your oven type shit. You know what I'm saying? Making you a whole new creature for you to take your new creature ass to some other situation and shit. It's maturity. Going back to you choosing to be with your karmic masculine. If your feminine is a real divine feminine, she's going to respect your choice. There ain't going to be no animosity. Your feminine ain't going to hate your karmic. She might not want to do it. But your feminine ain't going to hate on you. If you happy, she happy. If your masculine is happy, like if you happy masculine, your divine feminine is happy for you. If your karmic feminine makes you happy, then shit, your feminine should be happy that you're happy. Because if your feminine was happy with somebody else, she would want you to be happy for her the way she happy for
Evolution. That's really the message that I'm really getting this week from both masculine and feminine. It's time to evolve everything, not just yourselves, your relationships, your feelings and emotions, your actions and behavior, and what you manifest. That's the message that I got. I'll holler at y'all in a minute. One.